Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. Another very fast quick revision video, a mnemonic video to understand the digestion of proteins in human body. How the proteins are digested in human body and there are uh, different information that you need to remember. The name of the enzymes, where the digestion take place, where those enzymes are involved in the digestion and what are the outcome of digestion. There are so many concepts that require your memory to act and recall and remember so that at the time of exam you can recall and answer the questions. So to recall it easier, to make the recalling easy, I have a mnemonic for you and for that today we are going to talk about the protein, remember protein digestion. We have talked about all the other digestion with the help of this video. We have protein digestion mnemonic, we have lipid digestion mnemonic. Uh, and we have carbohydrate digestion mnemonic. I want uh, you to go through all the videos. It is going to be helpful for you. So for protein digestion mnemonic, uh, we have a simple uh, sentence and that is this. Please take care of the data. This is what we have. A sentence very simple. Please take care of the data. In these days, the data is very sensitive and important information are shared with the help of data. So it is, told, it is told, please take care of the data. That's it. Very genuinely said, please take care of the data. Right? So if you remember this, you are going to get all the name of the enzymes in protein digestion, how they digest protein and we are also going to see the digestion uh, locations with the help of it. We have this mnemonic made here in this, in this book actually and I am going to tell you how to now connect this particular sentence please take care of the data to all the different stages of protein digestion. Now remember starting with this very first one please P for here pepsin. Protein digestion begins with the pepsin. All I say is the protein digestion begins with the pepsin because protein digestion never begins in the mouth. It begins in the stomach and pepsin acts in presence of acid in very acidic environment near about 2 pH very acidic environment right so digestion of pepsin is done and what pepsin does is that it breaks down uh, proteins complex proteins three dimensional structure of proteins into uh, polypeptides so proteins into polypeptides that is done by the uh, pepsin at acidic environment where the pH is less than pH is near about near about 2, pH is near about 2. Now that is the role and this pepsin is released where? In the stomach. So the process of protein digestion begins in the stomach and it is easy to uh, correlate because you start with the stomach then intestine. These are the two places of protein digestion. Mouth, stomach, intestine, these are the three steps but mouth is not where the protein digestion begins. Begins in the stomach and then ends in the small intestine, right? So next what we have here is this take care, right? So take care, we have important T for trypsin and care and there are two meaning of that, chymotrypsin and carboxypeptidase. Okay, so we have this two C's here. Okay, we have uh, chymotrypsin and carbo carboxypeptidase for C, care, C. Okay, so we have take care, T for trypsin, C for chymotrypsin and carboxypeptidase. Now all of them, they are released where in small intestine, in small intestine. The rest of the digestion will take place here. And in the small intestine, what will happen is that this is the place where they convert this uh, this polypeptides, we had polypeptides, so polypeptides will be converted to oligopeptides. Means polypeptide means huge, lengthier chain of amino acids, they are fragmented into short chain of amino acids. So short chain of amino acids and the, oligo the polypeptide is a long chain, remember that. 
So long chain of amino acids is broken down into short chain by trypsin, chymotrypsin, carboxypeptidase. Now trypsin, chymotrypsin are released uh, from again uh, the, like the, the pancreas is involved in the production of these proteases because pancreas is the organ that produces a lot of these digestive enzymes. So they are released from the pancreas but acting in the small intestine. So pancreas is involved somewhere here but acting in the small intestine. Finally, in the small intestine we have this role of data that that particular part coming in. So data is uh, dipeptidase, D for dipeptidase, E for aminopeptidase and T for tripeptidase, right? So dipeptidase, tripeptidase, amino, A for aminopeptidase. So dipeptidase, tripeptidase and aminopeptidase. What is the job? Dipeptidase's job is to break dipeptide means two amino acids into one separate so two amino acids join together dipeptidase will convert them into two individual amino acids tripeptidase we have three amino acids as a tripeptide it is it will be broken down into three individual amino acids so basically they convert uh, oligo oligopeptides into amino acid structures at the end and at the end our body requires this amino acid they are going to use this amino acid they are going to absorb amino acid and they are going to use it for their own purpose of their body's function so we have all this listed together and this this data that is dipeptidase tripeptidase aminopeptidase they also work in the brush border cells of our body so again in the small intestine right so we are starting with the stomach Starting with the stomach, please, P for pepsin. Then we are moving into the pancreas, like in small intestine, pancreatic enzymes, trypsin, chymotrypsin, carboxypeptide is also uh, acting there in the small intestine, converting polypeptides into oligopeptides. Larger chunk of uh, amino acid chain, short chain of amino acid. Then finally, uh, data, that is dipeptidase, tripeptidase, aminopeptidase, they are going to work where? In the brush border cells, again in the small intestine, that they convert into oligopeptides into simpler form of the single amino acid sequences. So dipeptides and tripeptides are converted to small amino acid sequences separately. And that's what we see, that's what we know from all the sentences. Please take care of the data. Please take care of the data. And what we have here is that Pepsin, P for pepsin, take care, T for trypsin, C for chymotrypsin, data that is dipeptidase, tripeptidase and aminopeptidase. Uh, that's what we have here as a data and uh, we have the acting in the brush border cells. So sequence or the locations are easy to monitor because the locations start with mouth, stomach and intestine, that's all. But here the protein digestion never begins in the mouth, it skips mouth starting with the stomach and in the intestine. Got it? Why? Uh, if you remember the carbohydrate digestion starting in the mouth, skips stomach and then ends in the intestine, right? Lipid digestion is present in all these three places in mouth, in stomach as well as in the intestine, okay? I believe you got a clear idea uh, about all the topics that we discussed and one more thing that is very important is that uh, these mnemonics are going to give you so much information in very little time. So five to seven minutes of lecture will clear a lot of information in your brain. You can put all this information in your brain before the exam and you can ace the exam. And if you really like these video lectures, then please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues. There's a series of this mnemonics lecture, a playlist is made for that and the link of the playlist is given in the description. Click that and watch all the videos of the playlist. And if you wish to be mentored by me for your CSI and examination or want to get our study material, then the details are there here in the video. You can contact us by this given number or directly can download our application or check our website that is www.shomsbiology.com. Thank you. Bye.